in this moment, what's your advice? Because we do well, have a plan I, that is somewhere between foggy and less foggy, not as clear as simply making this a nonprofit system. We do well, have a vote likely to happen sometime this fall, and we have a whole lot of people who voted for change that are scared right now about whether they're going to get it. Yeah, I think that um, if Barack had campaigned on the politics of narrow self-interest, he would never have won the nomination, let alone the election. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, that election was so transformational because it, it engaged people in acting uh, in ways and on values which they hadn't before. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's what created the potential. And now to say, oh, so now we're going to get the reform by arguing narrow self-interest is to miss the whole what, what it is that drives change and what it is that drives social movements and their success. Look, the, the, I think there's, there's three things here. One is uh, it's got to get specific. We've got to know what we're for. And health care reform is not anything. I mean, it becomes specific when it's specific. We've got to know specifically what it is so what do you say uh, to that people? we're fighting for just just a second uh, second is that we have to engage the public seriously the public was not engaged seriously despite the cards and and all those you know traditional uh, tactics for uh, demonstrating modest you know moderate support uh, well, the public got engaged when the right wing seized the bully pulpit of these of these uh, uh, town hall meetings in august now, it's tragic that the progressives, all they can do is gather petitions and signatures. I don't know of a single significant social change accomplished in this country that hasn't involved civil disobedience at some point or another. I mean, there's a question here of commitment and a question of, of, of cutting the issue. It's like when, when uh, students sat in in North Carolina in the, in the restaurants, then people got there was an issue. Just going around and collecting stories and signing cards does not uh, engage the public. Uh, and then the third uh, point uh, is uh, who is the opposition? Now, you know, the opposition so far has been murky and vague, and maybe it's been the Republicans or maybe it's been the Blue Dog Democrats. What about the insurance companies? Mm.